Hello everyone, welcome back to Harry Makes Up. Today, I'm so excited to share with you this long awaited video, which is how to create your custom makeup palette. So this is your ride or die favorites, the products you always reach for. And this is something I do a lot in my pro kit and for myself because I find it makes my kit go further. It's what I like to call a kit split. So it means I get more makeup for me as well as my kit. And it just means makes it much easier to downsize. It makes it easier to make sure I'm using the products that I know I reach for on a day to day basis. And it just really feels like it kind of sums up my ethos of less but better. So to make your own palette, the very first thing you want to do is assess. So you want to start by taking all your makeup and you're going to pour it out onto a table or the floor, get every single product out, really have a look at it, assess if it's something you're still using, does it need to be chucked away, is it gone out of date? Is it something that's just taking up space that you don't really need anymore? Or perhaps they are, there are some products that you find yourself not reaching for on a daily basis so they could just go into a drawer. So the next step is to edit your products and you want to separate into piles the products that you reach for every single day and the ride or die favorite. So your kind of hero products that for you, you can't live without. Put those into a pile because they are products we're probably going to use in the palette or want to have uh, to one side. So once you've chosen those products, before you put anything to a palette, I really recommend that you test the products. It's really important that you ensure that those products really are your ride, I die, ride or die and they deserve place and space in your palette. So maybe put aside a week where you just have them on your desk, you test them out, you check you're happy to put them into a palette and have a think about the different ways you could use them. Because for me, the fun of creating a palette is all about mixing products, mixing products, mixing textures and really having fun with my makeup so I get more from my makeup. So I will tend to opt for products that are definitely more multi-purpose. So cheek products that could be used on the eyes, could also be used on the lips, etc. And maybe it's even something like a highlighter that could become an eye gloss. I'll kind of really think about the products I'm gonna add in and have a play to see all the different ways I can use them. Next step is to choose your palette. So you want to find a palette that works for you, depending on the kind of makeup you lean towards. You may want something that's better for powders or maybe something for cream. I love the Mayo Cosmetics, uh, make your own cosmetics, I think is what it is. You make your own palette. Um, view set is great if you're using more creams. I've used those for years. And there's quite a few that I've tried over the years that are no longer available, but I still use for many of my own personal edits. And I'll link some below. Now the fun part comes, which is curating your palettes. So this is actually making the palette. So you've got your products, you know they work, you know they're products you're gonna reach for on a day-to-day -day basis. You want to first sanitize your area. So just using a bit of alcohol, uh, just make sure everything's nice and clean. You want your spatulas to hand, make sure you've got some paper towels nearby. And I'm gonna be using the Z Potter because I actually like to melt mine down. However, you can just use a flexible spatula and actually just kind of push the product in. So you don't have to use heat. So I've got my pans. This is my empty pan, which is auto, also from Artist Kit Company. That's the palette that I'm going to be using for my personal palette. And I'm just gonna start by taking some of the product out. This is one of the Trini London Eye to Eye products. I think it's the shade Queen. It's the one I always go for, so I had to have a bigger pan. And I am just gonna start putting the product in. Now you don't wanna overfill it because obviously if you're melting it, it may spill over the top. You'll see here, I've turned it to setting three on the Z Potter. And I know when it's ready, just by kind of how much you'll see here now, it's kind of moving. It's starting to kind of get to the point where it's properly liquid, but it's not boiling. Then you want to leave it to one side so it's completely cool so you don't burn yourself and it's actually properly set. Then it's time to get your label maker if you fancy like me. Um, I like to do a label underneath my pans so that I can make sure if I ever move it into a different palette, I don't forget what that product was that's melted down. And then I will do a uh, label on the top of the palette as well. So I'm just gonna label this I. That way I know, I'm pretty much gonna know what this is because I know it's a product that I always reach for and you probably will too. But it just looks so nice and chic. 
And another addition I really recommend if you are using creams in your palette is something like Inglot Duraline, which is a makeup reviver. So you'll see here, I'm just putting it on some eyeliner gel and then even if it starts to shrink or it starts to go hard, you can instantly revive it. It's a game changer. It's a proper makeup artist staple and it's just a great way again to get more of your makeup, something that you might have previously thrown away. You can use this and it's brought back to life instantly. So then the best part is you've got a palette where you are able to create numerous looks. So things like highlighters can become eyeshadows, eye glosses, lip balms can become cheek glosses, uh, eye shades can become contour shades. You really can have fun and experiment with it. And for me, that's what I love most about curating my own palettes is that it makes me have more fun with my makeup and I find I'm more creative with less. And that's something I'm really taking into 2021 with me. The other obvious benefit is how much room you save. So when you travel, when you, you know, looking to kind of downsize, you really have the products that you are reaching for on a day-to-day -day basis in a gorgeous streamlined palette that is tailored to you. So you could use a spatula if you want to get things out and keep it super pristine looking. Um, obviously this is just for myself and my own use, so I'm not too precious about it but I can't tell you how many times I feel excited to get this palette out, whether it is doing my day-to-day -day makeup look or thinking of ways to mix product, mix textures, mix colors and make custom shades. It really is surprising what you can do with less. And the amazing thing about this is honestly, all you really need is a mascara extra. So obviously you'd prep your skin before, I'm not including any tools, but when you think about the actual makeup you're using, this really is a face in a palette and it's really personalized to you, which is what's so fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I'd love for you guys to subscribe and give this a thumbs up. And I would love to see, so you have to tag me on Instagram at Harry Makes Up. If you try this and you make your own edit, I would love to you to share it with me. Thanks so much for watching and I'm excited to share more videos soon.